All right, let's go Eagles. Eagles. Eagles fly. Right. Eagles fly. Eagles 31, Bills 13. Yep. Again, kind of like the Cleveland New England game. Was close for a long time. Right. Closer than the scoreboard made it look. Definitely. That's the first thing you need to say. It was closer than the scoreboard yeah. looked, for sure. Let's go to the Miles Sanders 65 yard touchdown run. Yeah. Third quarter, start of the third quarter. Philadelphia was only up 11 7. Yep. Second down eight from their own 35. Yep. And it's. Uh, Carson Wentz and shotgun, yep. split backs, yes. right? Yep. Miles Sanders to his left, Jordan Howard to his right. right. They basically are running a play that's like, it's um, almost like zone blocking to the right, but it's a design cutback. So now Wentz is in the shotgun, the line, line everybody but the left tackle, the, the left guard, the center, the right guard, the right, they're all kind of going zone blocking towards the right. So everybody's kind of moving in harmony to the right side. Now, Jordan Howard, who's on the right of Carson Wentz, he runs up and attacks the weak side linebacker through the – Star on that play. So there's a star on that play. Through the, through, through the hole between the left guard and the left tackle, he goes on there, and there's Matt Milano. Went and got him. So he went and got him. And, I mean, that's Jordan Howard's physical, as we saw even just the way he runs the ball. Yeah. And then Miles Sanders, of course, has the speed. So Carson Wentz gives the ball to Miles Sanders. He kind of gets it, and it makes it look like a little – like he might veer to the right and follow the O-line and then comes back – you know, left to that design where the play is really designed to go. Now, it's simple. And really, Tony Dungy and Rodney Harrison, uh, they were all over it on Sunday Night Football, and, and uh, there's nothing to disagree with. I mean, when I, when I watch the film, it comes down to one thing. You know, they schematically were in the right place, the, the Buffalo Bills. They, this, this should not have been a big play. It should have been a five-yard gain. But the real issue is Matt Milano, number 58 here. Because on the play, now Matt Milano, like we're saying, Jordan Howard's coming downhill to block him. To Matt Milano's right is Micah Hyde. Mm -hmm. Micah Hyde's there to be the guy when, if they pull a lineman or do a backside block like they did with Jordan Howard, you know, an extra gap per, uh, forms within that. Because now an extra player's on this side of the ball, and because there's a left and right of that player, there's an extra gap. So Micah Hyde's there to be that extra gap guy. Matt Milano does what we call wrong shoulders it. He wrong shoulders it. And I'm going to stand up. You ready for this, John McDonald? It's my only stand-ups of the day. And usually when I say that, I jinx myself and stand up one more time. <laughs> but he really is like here. Okay, Jordan Howard's coming at him, right? Micah Hyde's right here. And he now, now uh, Miles Sanders is, is kind of attacking him right here, right? He takes it on like this. Okay, so here's Miles Sanders coming to Matt Milano's inside shoulder, and he takes it on with the, that inside shoulder like this to do that, and that's the wrong shoulder. So now he has help to this side. We don't need you over there. You needed him to take it on and be here to keep the left arm free to then maybe make the tackle, or if you don't make the tackle, you get an arm on him and you slow him down and people are going to rally and it's going to be a 10-yard ga gain or a 12-yard gain. But because he wrong shoulders it and does this, now Micah Hyde, he's seeing it, but he's going, oh, damn, I can't get over there because you're in the way and you're getting blocked too. Right. So Miles Sanders just gets a free shot and he goes right up the field, 65-yard touchdown, and that game was never the same really no, from wasn't. that standpoint on. Yeah. Didn't, didn't the center also go out and get a linebacker really well? He did. As well as Howard did. He did. I think Kelsey, Kelsey, so that was like the zone blocking. Kelsey's yeah. so phenomenal at that. Yes, he goes up and gets Tremaine Edwards or Edmonds at the time, and that's where he's amazing at getting the second level. But that is, that's part of the zone blocking scheme. And, I mean, as far as centers go, he's as good as it gets at going to the second level. That was, he's amazing. That was textbook for a center getting right. out and a running back getting out and getting into a linebacker and right. eliminating him from a play. That's that no, play it's not as easy. Good as it gets. It's as good as it gets. Yes, blocked perfectly, really, from that standpoint. I mean, it, it should have been a 10-yard gain, but because Matt Milano wrong shoulders it, it right. becomes a 65-yard gain. Besides that play, yeah. the Eagles in general right. and their run game on yeah. Sunday in Buffalo. Which yeah. Um, I mean, I'm excited about so many things I saw with the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, one, they still need Deshaun Jackson back. Mm -hmm. They do. They need that, that one guy, and I, I'm sick of saying it, and you, everybody else out there, you know it, because they got nobody that scares you. But, man, they got back, and just look at the first drive. Look at when they took the lead in the football game. They got back to a little bit of, like, underneath the center. 
running the ball straight downhill. Stop with this shotgun east and west bull crap. I'm so sick of it. So they, they probably did more of that because of the, the weather was poor. Uh, yes, so when I think that's probably so forced them to do it. Maybe now they're in a meeting thinking, boy, that, that, was, that would be good even if it's nice outside. Well, I hope, I, yes, I hope so. You know, uh, and, and some, one of the things I wrote in my, my notes here with this game in general is, you know, um, I, I wrote, I feel like the Eagles think they're the Chiefs sometimes. And with, the, with formations, you did the play. formations, just shotgun. We're going to throw it every play. And, you know, oh, our backs coming out on yeah. wheel routes and all these things. And uh, I, I just wrote the problem is you're not you're not the Chiefs. The strength of your offense and the Philadelphia Eagles is your size and physicality. You don't got Tyree Kill and Kelsey and Sammy. White. When you do, then you can play this way. But mm -hmm. for right now, you don't fucking have them. So <laughs> don't do it like they're playing a game that I don't think suits their team. And that's what's frustrating to me. That's why, because I kind of like the Eagles. But, you know, like, if you break down the Eagles and look at their offensive line, okay, Kelsey, we talked about it, athletic. He's 6'3", 295, not necessarily really big, but he's one of the best centers in football, and he blocks like he's bigger than 295. But then you get into the rest of the group. I mean, we talk about um, Brandon Brooks, okay, guard, 6'5", mm -hmm. 325. Okay, Andre Dillard, who filled in, he's 6'5", 315. You know, he's filling in for, for um, big Jason Peters, who's 6'4", 330 when he's in there. Lane Johnson, a right tackle, 6'6", 320. Okay, you got Suomolo, who's uh, 303 pounds. Vitae, Vitae, Vali Vati Vitae, whatever the hell, I can't say it. He's 320 pounds. I mean... This is when this is what they're built to do. They are built to overpower you, and they just get too obsessed with the pass game at time. So I, yes, I think the weather did force it their yeah. hand a little. Yeah. Um, but I would like to see more of this. I think this would be playing to the strength of their team, especially with no Deshaun Jackson. And they have two backs that clearly, I mean, yes, we, we didn't know how good they were. But yes, they're but those not. Those two backs w would go very well with that mentality and that offense. They line. are like bats out of hell they yeah. want to go downhill and smash your face and that's what they're made to do too you're right you know they're not made to like go east and west and be like dalvin cook ish or anything like that that's not what they are and dalvin cook doesn't do that either i don't even know why i'm using him as an example right but they're not jitterbug types these are guys that you want to go they're going to run downhill aggressive aggressive in the fourth quarter linebackers and safeties are going to get sick of hitting them mm -hmm. and they're going to break ta tackles and wear people down so and their pass game is just not special right not, not only do they not have anybody scared of but they have just some concepts sometimes where i go it's just too repetitive yeah. it's, it's the third quarter and i've seen this play six times Almost already like they, they believe too much in carson wentz I, and it's it's so much on him. I yes. He would probably raise his hand and say, "Help! That, that sounds good. Help, please." I would love to throw it 20 yeah. times a game yeah. instead of 35. Yeah, I I, I think they got to start playing to that strength if they really want to be the Super Bowl team that they think they are, and that I still think they are too, because I thought this was the best game they played all year. I did. And you're right. The score was misleading. It really wasn't 31 to 13. Right. You know, Buffalo with the fumble, they missed a, they couldn't kick a field goal because the weather got so bad at one point. They got down close. They had to go for it on like yeah. a fourth and eight or nine. Um, but not only the offense, and the last thing I'll say about this, their defense played their best game of the year too. Fletcher Cox, he was f***ing plays up left and right. Mm -hmm. Jalen Mills and Ronald Darby being healthy at corner, it changes their defense. You know, now Jim Schwartz can be creative with things he does in the front seven. He won't be afraid to play man-to-man. -man. Uh, so I think there was a lot of positives. I thought it was the best their defense looked physically as far as speed and physicality all year long. They had some really dominant periods yeah. in the football game. Well, best game offensively, best game yeah, defensively. Yeah, I mean, let's see. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.